what do you think about the future of Scala? Oh, well, uh, well, <laughs> that's a hard question. I'm a little bit worried. I, as many people, I, I have some questions because of the, the, the people we are, we are onboarding every year on, on Scala. But I, I'm quite confident. I'm a little bit afraid, so I will see. My wish is a bright future, but uh, it seems like there's some kind of breaking point if we're going to expand or dry out. But hopefully the community can come together and work as a whole instead of being many fractions. Uh, I think the Scala is missing like what John says, like the build tool and compilation to Wasm and also the people are afraid of uh, Caprese, so, okay. <laughs> or, or the new migration, so. It's... I would say, I hope that Scala has a bright future. It has, everything, it has everything it needs for a bright future. It's the best language on the market, uh, best language for uh, industrial purposes, though it might be a good idea to give the industrial users uh, some time to adapt to changes, and for the tooling uh, to be uh, adapted for the new version. If, if that doesn't happen, the market share might continue to fall. Yeah, the future of Scala is, I think there is there's potential and there's risk. There's risk of making things too complicated, I guess, on both levels, on the, on the library and on the language level, and if this happens, I, I think it could end up that we, we lose a lot of developers. But on the other hand, I think uh, there are a lot of nice enhancements in Scala 3 that uh, could really shine and that you could also lead to easier and more approachable API designs and uh, simpler libraries. So I think it's a lot about which way the community and which way the, the language designers go. and. Uh, I, I cannot say yet what the future is, but uh, I, I hope there will be uh, great improvements, especially when it comes to tooling.